I think the big the big step we have to make is to not see racism just as being the overt racism, racial violence, the use of racial language, open discrimination, and accept that because our history is a history of exploiting and using people from Africa, because racism is deeply hardwired into that history, that it has it's disfigured our societies, that we have these disadvantages, that we have this language which is loaded with, with toxins that come from this history. And when black people talk about that, when they talk about the damage it does to them, the psychological de damage, we seem to have spent a long time in this country just dismissing that. That's still happening this week. When black people have talked about how powerfully this moment connects with them, they've been told, oh, there's no comparison with America. You're exaggerating. You're drawing a false parallel. Well, that's part of this long habit of not listening to black people about what racism is. So listening. The real revolution of this week is black people and white people coming together and talking about what racism feels like, what it is to black people.